Hello, HQTs, hobbits, elves, orcs, ents, or regular old humans. Whatever click you're down with, you are now entering Middle Earth. That's right, it's Lord of the Rings trivia, baby. It's going to be a perilous journey tonight. Some of you may not make it, but if you do, the rewards will be plentiful. I'm Shaladriel, your mightiest and fairest presenter, at your phone's front and center. And I have to warn you, do not under any circumstances wear this ring right here. Forged by Sauron, he poured his cruelty, malice, and hold on a second. This isn't a ring. It's my earring from the other night. I was looking for that. Okay, scrap everything I just said. Gandalf says hi. He couldn't be here today, but he did leave me his staff. Just in case any of you guys get out of line, you shall not pass. So watch out, okay? We are deep in the fires of season two, counting down to the big season finale taking place this Sunday. And guess what? It's time to check in on that prize. Holy hobbits! It now stands at $121,975. That is almost as gigantic as Mount Doom. Now remember, you've only got a few more days to level up. For every point earned by players, the prize will get even bigger until the season finale. So stay tuned to find out just how high it's going to go. I can't wait to find out. This is how you win points, by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app as well. Those points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes, of course. Free pass keeps you in the game even when you get a question wrong. How cool. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. Level 10 is the highest. High like the Misty Mountains. If you hit the that means you only have to answer a couple of questions right to win HQ for the rest of the season. Getting really But 15, yes, indeed. And that is sure to help you level up. We're feeling super generous tonight. Now keep an eye out for those special point multipliers all week long. And remember this season, we're giving away a way bigger bag than we did the last time. So you better be ready for Sunday's big finale. It's gonna be tremendous, that's for sure. I can't wait. Extra lives are awesome and can keep you from the chambers of fire. You can play when you get a question wrong. If you play HQ five days in a row, you'll score one for free. You can use it any round aside from the final round, of course. You knew that already, though, didn't you? Okay, it's about that time to head directly into the path of danger. Make sure your fellowship is right by your side. You may need them, and it's time to get to the quizzing. Here we go with Q1. What was Gollum's original name? Smeagol, Skinny Pete, Nasty Boy. Sounds like some rapper names right here. Could be a hip hop group. Before he was slimy and gross, Gollum was a great guy, a hobbit-like creature of the river folk, who went by the ordinary name of Smeagol. How unfortunate. 372,000 of you are smirking over Smeagol. Once Smeagol was corrupted by the ring, this happened. Okay, somebody didn't brush their teeth this morning. Now the name Gollum just seems a lot more fitting. Doesn't it? Q2. According to Boromir, what does one simply not do? Shave Hobbit, the Hobbit beat, mansplain to Galadriel, walk into Mordor. One simply should not do any of the above. I don't take mansplaining too kindly, but you may make it out alive. This place, on the other hand. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Yeah. Don't do it, you don't want to walk into Mordor, that's for sure. Who's walking through those black gates? 348,000 of you are. Boromir's description of Mordor is certainly enough to put you off your travel plans. Sure, we'll avoid the evil fire and poisonous fumes. Thanks for the warning there, Boromir. Q3. Which Lord of the Rings movie won Best Picture at the Academy Awards? The Two Towers, Fellowship of the Ring, The Return of the King all excellent movies. They all won awards, but who won this one? 
This instalment of the franchise took home the biggest award of the night as the first fantasy film to do so as well. He's back! The return of the king is what we're talking about here. 204,000 of you will be returning on the next round, but that was a tough question right there. We lost almost 200,000 of you there. Not only did the movie win Best Picture, it took home all 11 awards it was nominated for, the biggest sweep in Oscar history. Hopefully you guys have some extra lives handy. It's Q4. At the Council of Elrond, who was the next to join the Fellowship after Gandalf, Legolas, Aragorn, Samwise, they all joined eventually. But who was up after Gandhi, as I like to call him? We're, we're pretty close. While the big folks were bickering, Frodo stepped up to be the bigger person and offered to help destroy the ring himself. Gandalf joined him, followed by... By my life or death, I can protect you. I will. Aragorn, Aragorn is the man. Like, literally a man as opposed to an elf or a dwarf. 209,000 of you nailed that. Merry and Pippin were the last to sign on because they weren't supposed to be there in the first place. Those little rascals, little troublemakers. Q5. Which of these lines is part of the inscription inside the One Ring? One Ring of Darkness, One Ring of Power, One Ring to Find Them. It's a handy ring to have around, quite functional. They'll all send shivers down your spine, but way better than find your iPhone is one ring to find them. Did you find them? Yes, you did. 211,000 of you did, 140,000 of you did not. Written in the Elvish script in the black speech of Mordor, it reads, one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness, bind them. Well, there's a nice nursery rhyme for the kids. Yeah. Q6. Which of these was a gift that Galadriel gave a member of the Fellowship? Hair, insect, tree branch. I like to speak about myself in the third person. Pretty generous with my gifts. My gifts are always thoughtful. There was the rope I gave to Sam. He was totally thrilled about it. The nice shiny daggers. And try this for your bae's next birthday. Some hair. Yeah. Hair, barely their hair. 178,000, if you knew that, there was another brutal question. Now, Gimli was the one with the special request. I asked her for one hair from her golden head. Yeah, you didn't. It was kind of weird, Gimli. But I gave him three anyway, just to shut him up. Q7, halfway. Before the one ring, which of these groups bought the most great rings? Men, elves, dwarves. Lots of cool rings out there, or maybe not so cool. All the groups got a bunch of rings with a dark motive behind them. The greediest ones here and the only ones foolish enough to actually wear them. You weren't supposed to wear them. Men! Men made that mistake. Yes, indeed, 142,000 of you knew that. That was a toughie right there. I'm going to go with another brutal, not quite savage yet. Now the elves got three. Dwarves got seven, and Snow White got one. Oops, wrong movie. Q8. In the films, which of these is not one of the Hobbit meals Pippin asks for? Supper, second luncheon, dinner. Reminds me my 9.30 snack. It's going to be coming up soon. And the 10 p.m. one. Those hobbits like to overeat half the size of Aragorn, but indulging in twice the amount of meals, he asks for second breakfast, but not... Second luncheon, 108,000 of you lunching and munching onwards. This guy is forever hungry. What about elevensies? Luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, supper. He knows about them, doesn't he? Sounds like your average Brit to me and we've got a Scottish Hobbit there. Here we do. Q9, which of these is the full name of a Hobbit? Samwell, Peregrine, Frodiac. You on a first name basis with any hobbits, perhaps? Which one's the full name? If you went for Samwell, I'm afraid you didn't do well. Frodiok is made up completely, so it's got to be Peregrine. And it is Peregrine. That is the correct answer here. And that 
is 87,603 of you who got that absolutely correct. Now, we're still not sure how Pippin, who's the star of the show right now, lots of Pippin in this game, is a nickname for Peregrine in Middle Earth. But then again, how is Peggy short for Margaret on regular Earth? I don't know, it's confusing. Q10, the giant battle at Minas Tirith features what fantastic creatures? Ents, great eagles, oliphants. They're pretty mind-blowing and spectacular. If you think elephants are big, you have never laid eyes on their evil ancestors. Let's address the oliphant in the room. Yes, indeed. Oliphants are pretty cool, aren't they? They're huge. I wish they really existed. That'd be super cool. 57,451 of you charging forward. Legolas takes on an oliphant and kills him in seconds, then uses its trunk as a skateboard ramp. That elf can shred. HQTs, do not forget. HQ Words is coming up right after trivia at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. So keep those phones super close. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss this. The penultimate round, Q11. In the films, which of these characters is the tallest? Gimli, Frodo, Gollum. I wouldn't call any of them tall, necessarily. They're all actually knee high to a grasshopper. But even next to Frodo, Gollum seems stunted, standing a statuesque four foot tall, Gimli. Gimli is the tallest of the bunch. And you know, I'm going to go with a savage question here. Yes, I am. You shall not pass. <laughs> that was pretty savage. Right there. The 28,482 of you got through. And I, I want to use that stuff. Now get your sword, bow, and axe at the ready. Because we are battling into the final round. Let's do it, 28,482 players left in the game. We've got 11,000 using extra lives to get back in. That's a whopping number, $2,500 in the bag. Go get it. Can you make it out alive? Let's find out. Q12, which of these Middle Earth places is by far the closest to Mordor? The Misty Mountains, Gondor, Lothlorien. Nobody wants to be neighbours with Mordor. Have you used Google Maps, the Middle Earth edition? Download the update. If not, you need to see the third movie to figure this one out. If you went for Misty Mountains, you'll be misty-eyed, wishing it was way further than Mordor than it actually is. Gondor is the winning answer. Tonight we have 27,294 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Congrats, 27,294 winners tonight. You are true Lord of the Rings fans and you are taking home nine cents. Well done. You could buy one of those Gollum meals for that. He likes to eat like wriggly uh, live things, doesn't he? We've got Skip Morale. Uh, we've got Crystal Lees, uh, JMM San. Uh, Gar Hall, uh, a bunch of winners right there, 27,000, that's a massive amount, well done, you totally, totally killed it tonight, I'm going to go home and watch nine hours of Lord of the Rings after all of that, well done everyone, you made it to Mount Doom and back unscathed for the most part, you came, you played, you totally slayed, I'm Sharon Carpenter, here's where you can find me on the socials, let me know how you did tonight, I can't wait to find out, don't be shy, stop by say hello. We're back tomorrow to spice up your Friday night. Now, in the famous words of Bilbo Baggins, I think I'm quite ready for another adventure. Are you? Hope to see you soon. Bye!